What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Kale coming to you with another video. This time, we'll be looking at Game Three of the Western Conference Finals between the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, before the game, I was very, very disappointed to uh, hear the news that Kawhi Leonard would not be playing. Uh, excuse me. In a in a uh, Game Three, obviously, do still out with the uh left sprained ankle uh, really thought that uh, he was going to be able to go uh, for game uh, for game three especially having those three four days to uh, rest but um, Popovich said no that he's not going to risk his uh, young superstar's health and uh, the spur and you know, just have the young star tonight. Um, but usually, all in all, Warriors win it one twenty to one hundred eight over the Spurs. Really, I, I really, really give kudos to the Spurs. They came out, they played hard. Um, in the absence of Leonard, of course, they were at home. Game three, first game is first game three, first game in San Antonio. They were they were hard. They they played hard. Uh, still didn't get what I what I wanted to see out of uh. She would get I'm tired. Uh, the Marcus Aldridge, uh, really disappointing. Another disappointing performance uh for him. But um, uh, I mean. But again, that again, very very good performance from uh, San Antonio. I mean, the other guys, you know, other guys really stepped up. Manu Ginobili, again, the ageless Argentinian uh, w w wonder, Argentine wonder, whatever you want to call it. But you know, he led all San Antonio scorers with 21 points in the game, seven of nine shooting. I mean. You wonder how much the guy has left. Uh, I think it's his thirteenth, fourteenth season, and you know he he played he played a lot in Argentina uh, before even coming over to the NBA, before being drafted to the NBA. Played played a played like five six years over in Argentina, and then of course all the. Accolades he has with the with the Argentinian uh, national team, <clears throat> you know, I think then they uh and they come then they win a gold medal in one of those Olympic tournaments or one of those world basketball tournaments. Uh, really, really get really gives the United States a run for that money every time, you know. But um. Yeah, man, he's seven of nine shooting. Obviously, the best uh, shooting for any San Antonio Spur player on the floor. Uh, every starter, except for uh, Kyle Anderson, missed eight or eight or more shots. Uh, Jonathan Simmons, who got the start tonight, uh, for for uh, for uh, Leonard, shot seven of seventeen. At 14 points, um, I'm sorry, I just got uh, distracted by uh, this thing about uh, one dude's fighters. Uh, 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 guys boxing, uh, guys with boxing, dude got knocked out, then. Dude, the guy knocked out his uncle. One of his, one of the guys in his corner, <laughs> came and started swinging at the, uh, the the dude that knocked him out. Like, are you serious, bro? The dude got a strong chin because he get, he landed the night nice one to the chin, and the, the other boxers seen my face. <laughs> but anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, Jonathan Simmons, he 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 really was kind kind of the. Uh, the aggressor for the Spurs offense at first, but again, he was only seven of seventeen uh, from the field. Fourteen points, five assists for uh, Jonathan Simmons. Again, starting in place of Kawhi Leonard. Um, Danny Green, three of eleven shooting. 
Only with only seven points, you gotta have more from him. He did have eight rebounds. Uh Patty Mills, two of ten shooting, seven 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 points. He really he's really not a starting point guard, but you know, obviously with the injury to Tony uh Parker, he has to step into that role. Um Gasol had twelve off the bench, six of eleven shooting, ten rebounds, double double for him. Uh, DeJounte Murray, Murray had 10 points off 4 of 6 shooting. Uh, I, I, I think he probably should play more than 18 minutes. That's just me. And, you know, again, the disappointment from LaMarcus Aldridge. 18 points, 5 rebounds, but 7 of 17 shooting. I mean, for I me, mean, for Aldridge to be the next man up, the next superstar up, you know, with Kawhi being out, got to have the other guy to step up and, and lead the team, and and uh, Aldridge really hasn't done that. I mean, from his, uh, I mean, he just, he just hasn't been the same since he's uh, arrived in San Antonio. He he sat the he he was uh, the backup to Tim Duncan. Uh, when he first got there, and then he then he started, his role started to increase it last year. It's uh, they uh, Popovich started to sit Duncan more. You know, Duncan started becoming becoming more of a, a of a veteran leader. You know, than 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 a than a, than a player. Excuse me, excuse me, played played a lot of less minutes. Uh, becoming that veteran leader to uh, Lamarcus Aldridge, teaching him everything he knows. Uh, you know, but. Aldridge just not. I don't. I don't know if he's got that same wire, you know, to, to be to be that superstar guy. I mean, even in Portland, you know, it was uh, even when he was in Portland. When uh, I think I think he was the man in Portland when Damian Lillard came, got drafted, came into the league, and Damian Lillard took over. Uh, took over and uh, took over the team from uh. Uh, Aldridge and you know they had a couple good playoff runs before Aldridge uh, decided to come to San Antonio. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, Aldridge is not just, Aldridge is not stepping up and being the guy like a lot of us people thought he who thought he could thought he would. I mean, Game Six against Houston, he was just awesome. He was awesome. Thirty six points. He had everything going for him and. That's the guy that we expect to see, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's the guy that the Spurs were expecting to see, you know, out of him as well. Because you know, when you want to replace a guy like Tim Duncan, you know, you got you got to have something. And 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 but but he's but Aldridge is not giving us that something here in the playoffs. You know, especially with Kawhi being out. You know. Definitely, this is another disappointing performance by Aldridge here in these playoffs. It's been too many, been way too many for him. He's got to step his game up, and you know, I mean, I, it may be, it might, might be too late now, but uh, in the future, if he wants to, if he wants to still be a the star player for a team or one of the star players, he's got to step his game up in in in, in big games. You know, he's got to he's got to bring more to the table. He's he's he's, he's got to come up bigger. Uh, Golden State. I mean, it's kind of like ESPN was saying uh, uh, after the game. Golden State really did not come out with the killer instinct you seen from the uh, Cavaliers last night in their route of Boston. Uh, like I said, uh, the Spurs really hung 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 in there in the uh, in the uh, first half. Uh, I'm just watch, now watching it right now. Uh, David Lee, ah man, that's tough. David Lee had, uh, left left knee injury. Uh, the dude was balling really. He, he's he's been giving he's been giving real 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 good minutes uh, for the Spurs off the bench in this postseason. But I mean, he goes he he goes into the game. He comes into the game and he and he gives uh, the Spurs a spark, 
And then he uh then it uh he executes a beautiful pick and roll play. I forgot who the guard was. I think it was Mills. Uh, gave a screen and he rolled to the rim and he got the and he got it off the pass and he put in a, a beautiful right hand layup with the uh with the uh, uh, uh and he drew and he drew the foul and got the end one but he came down came down awkwardly on his right knee. So I'm just me left knee uh and then he couldn't couldn't barely stand after that. Had to be helped off the floor and helped back into the locker room where he got into a wheelchair and you know that was it for him. I mean, you know, you get the with what Lee was giving them off the bench, it was really pivotal uh for those Spurs and losing him, you know, they, they, they hell. David Lee was is the Spurs best big guy. David Lee has been the Spurs best big best big guy, most consistent big guy, you know, in these playoffs, you know, and he's and he's the third option, you know. And losing him, that's that's huge. You have you now you you're without Kawhi. Now you're without one of your best bench players as well. It's a really tough situation for Greg Popovich, man. Uh, uh, but again, the Warriors didn't come didn't come out didn't come out good. Another game where they did where they came out slow. Uh, basically, like kind of like game one, except. They weren't down by twenty, you know. They were, they were, they were, they were fighting. It was a fight. It was a fight in the first half. Then, about halfway through the third quarter, that's when the uh, Warriors started to pull away. Kevin Durant with another big game, uh, thirty-three points, nineteen of those in the third quarter. Durant was the man tonight for the Warriors. Eleven of nineteen shooting, ten rebounds, four assists. Also, they did turn the ball over seven times, but. They were able to survive that. Draymond Green again, uh, having another stat stuffer type of game. Ten points, four of six shooting, uh, seven rebounds, seven assists. You know, doing his thing. You know, as far as stuffing the stat stat sheet of uh, Javale McGee. <laughs> I mean, Shaq don't say his name anymore. You know, because after that little Twitter beef that they had, but I mean, you can't deny the dude is balling right now. I mean, he led all scores in the first half. 16 points, 6 of 9 shooting. Most of them off of live passes that he was able to finish at the rim. Uh, uh, hit 4 of 6 of his free throws as well. I mean, he really had had a really good, had a, had a real good first half. And only played 12 minutes, you know, to give that, and to give that type of, of production. Really big for him. He started in place of Zaza Pachulia, who was out with a heel contusion. Um, really big game for him. First half for him. He's gonna be dangerous. Uh, he's gonna be dangerous in the next round in in, in the in the finals. I, I I think he's gonna be he's gonna be a real dangerous weapon for them. Clay Thompson. He's still struggling shooting, but he had 17 points tonight, or seven of 15 shooting, uh, three of six from three point range, six rebounds. He, I, I don't know. I think Thompson still kind of start. I think Thompson starting. He Thompson still have having his annual. It seems like annual uh, playoff slump. But he he has some open shots tonight. He knocked them down, and he looked uh, he looked okay, but still still kind of struggling. But I think he's coming along. Steph Curry didn't he, he didn't uh, do that much tonight. Eight of fifteen shooting, twenty one points, three of seven from the. Uh, uh, from three point range, five rebounds, three assists. We didn't have didn't didn't have to do much because, uh, like I said, Durant took over in the uh, second half. Um, the bench bench guys came up big. Ian Clark was seven. Uh, West was six. McCall was six. Had help from the bench, and uh, but again, it was all Kevin Durant really in the third quarter. That really uh, sparked the uh, Warriors to pull away. Uh, Warriors now lead 3-0. One more win, and they will represent the West in the finals for the third consecutive year. I mean, it's a lot. I mean, a lot of talk about you know 
all the warriors and cavaliers on the collision course. I never really thought of that. I never believed that because I'm too much of a basketball fan. I thought that these other teams would give a, a fight to 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 these two teams, you know. But you know, I'm I'm just saying, a lot of people talk about how the East is easy for the Cavs and LeBron James. You know. I mean the West. I mean the the look. The Warriors are obliterating the West. You know, obviously, in this series, it's it's about injuries. Uh, Leonard going down, and then you know, now after that big little blowout last night in Boston by Cleveland, now word it came out today that Isaiah Thomas is out the rest of the playoffs with uh with the right hip. Strain. They said it was. They said it was something that he's been dealing with um, uh, since March. So um, I, I didn't know that there. I didn't know that, but he reaggravated the strain in Game Two's loss, so he'll be out the rest of the series. And they were talking about it earlier about how the Warriors and Cavaliers have benefited off of teams with injuries. You know. Warriors in the first round uh, with uh, uh, Just Neef, uh, uh, well, however, however you say his name, Nurkic, the big man from uh, from Portland who got traded over from the Nuggets and had a big game, had a, had a big uh, impact on uh, with the with the with the Trailblazers uh, when he first came over, but then got hurt and got hurt late in the season, couldn't go in the playoffs and. Now he was a big he, he, he his presence could have his presence was felt for uh Portland as the Warriors swept uh as the Warriors swept uh the Trailblazers in four games and then uh, last last the conference semifinals before Cleveland against Toronto Kyle Lowry goes out you know he's done he you know he didn't play the last two games of the series now in now in the conference finals you have Kawhi go down, David Lee go down for the Spurs, which helps ward the Warriors, and now you have Isaiah Thomas out for Boston, their best player. So you know the injuries have helped the Cavaliers and the Warriors. I'm trying not to say the Warriors the injuries probably wouldn't matter wouldn't have mattered in in the end anyway, but they sure have helped because neither team has lost a game. Warriors are one win away. Uh, Cavs look to take a 3-0 lead tomorrow night in Cleveland. Looks like they are on the collision course for the for for, for the NBA Finals, the trilogy. 1-1 one, one each. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, again, Warriors take a 3-0 lead. 120-108. A good good fight by the Spurs, man. I, I I I'm thankful. <laughs> I'm thankful we didn't go through another one of those games like we, like it was last night. That was that was pathetic. But uh yeah, let's go in this video, man. I appreciate y'all watching. And if you uh, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought. I appreciate it, man. If everyone watched this video, I wish you nothing but positive vibes only. I'll see you in the next video.